Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be reviewing the Bole Bolt 2.0 Cycling Sunglasses. Bole has recently released an updated version of their Bolt sunglasses. With what we have here today, the Bolt 2.0. These retain the original measurements of the Bolt 1, but add a little more modern styling and new lens options. In terms of packaging, it's pretty simple. Black cardboard box with the Bole branding on top. You can see the version we have here is the titanium matte with the ultraviolet polarized lens. And otherwise, that's about it. So we'll go ahead and take it out of the box and we'll go over specs. So retail price on this ranges from $110 all the way up to $170. So it depends on which lens you pick. $170 would be the phantom photochromic lens, while the $110 would be the clear lens. The version we have here today with the ultraviolet Volt Plus is $140. It has a semi-frameless design, so it has excellent field of view. It has Phantom and Volt Plus lenses available, and it is an interchangeable lens design, so you can swap them out. It has a TR90 nylon frame, so very flexible and durable. And you also have thermogrip temples, as well as an adjustable nose pad to adjust the fit. And the lenses also have all the anti-scratch, oleophobic and hydrophobic treatments to keep them very durable for day-to-day -day use. In terms of what comes in the box, you get the sunglasses. You get a nice zippered hard case with the Bole logo on top, for, great for traveling with. You get a basic instruction manual here with the lens information, as well as a soft fabric bag, which is great for cleaning the lenses, as well as traveling with them with a little lighter case. Go ahead and take a look at the weight of the Bolt 2.0 sunglasses. So being a smaller sunglass, we expect them to be pretty light. And that's true, they come in at 28 grams. With the current trend toward larger and larger sunglasses, the Bolt 2.0 is refreshing to see. It has a standard classic sports design with a semi-frameless profile that really looks good on or off the bike. Bully offers you in a variety of frame colors and lens options. Everything from what we see here, the titanium matte, which you can see is a light gray finish, as well as black matte, silver matte, tortoise matte, as well as other colors. Lenses are available in everything from the Volt Plus that we have here to simple clear lenses, as well as the photochromic phantom lenses. You can see the profile on these sunglasses is really sleek. You have a very subtle inward curvature here that reminds me a lot of the Oakley radars. You have nice little aggressive uh, tabs here off the lenses, as well as this nice premium touch here. There's a little etching at the edges of the frame of the lens and actually extends the frame profile down. So nice premium touch. And again, with the Bole logo, you have that laser etch detail. So pretty sleek. You don't have much branding on these sunglasses, which is a little bit surprising. There's no Bole brand here or any signature here is just open and empty. You have slight curvature here with little profile lines along the frame and then bully on the side. You can see the temple arms are pretty standard. They come off the top and then they curve downward for a better fit. You have the thermo grip rubber on here and nice flexible temple arms that can be molded to your head. And you can see they actually curve inward, which helps retain their uh, position when you're on the bike or even running. You have a four position no nose pad on here with the same thermo grip rubber. So you can see you can go all the way inward if you have very narrow nose. And if you have a very wide one, you can take it all the way to the fourth position for almost flush. So a lot of adjustability here. The hinges on here are snap hinges. So you can see they're just spring loaded. So once you get about halfway, it'll pop into place. You have a little simple bolt underneath that holds these uh, in place. There's nice little detailing on the arms as well. You can see it's a little bit cut out. That helps them fold a bit a little bit better. So you can see the cutout is actually exactly where they uh, land on top of each other. So otherwise really sleek. It's not a super aggressive sunglasses, which means they look good on or off the bike. Now what's more important than the styling of a pair of sunglasses are the lenses. Lenses come in a variety of categories as well as base tints. And you really want to pick the right one for your environment. Bully has a pretty good guide on their website, so I definitely recommend checking that out and comparing the different technologies. When it comes to lenses, they typically come in four different categories. You have 
Category zero, which would be a clear lens, and that allows the most amount of visible light through the lens, all the way up to category four, which is very dark. What we have here today is the Volt Plus Ultraviolet. This is a category three. So this is what generally termed as a general uh, lens. So it's very good for bright conditions or medium conditions, being in California or any other brighter area, category three is really the way to go. What's nice about these is that they're polarized. So this is Bole's uh, revolutionary polarization technology. They claim it has 30% improved color perception and improved depth perception. So it really brightens up everything around you and helps you spot any imperfections on the road, as well as just brighten up your depth perception. Now, these sunglasses are also available in a variety of different lenses, everything from clear to their photochromic uh, Bole lenses, which can actually adjust the environment. So this is an interchangeable design, and to interchange them, you simply pull up on the lens, and you can see I'll pop out the inside, and then there's a tab on the back side you just pull away. So again, with the other one, you simply pull down on the nose, and it'll pop out, slide it up, and out. So the lens themselves are two-piece design. Each side is a separate piece, and you have the tabs on the edges to hold them in place. You can get a better look here at the little etching on the side, which adds a nice little detail. And then the TR90 frame, which is very flexible and lightweight with the semi-frameless design. Now let's take a look at the bolt on the road. As you can see, it has a very sleek style to it. It's not oversized like a lot of sunglasses on the market. Instead, you actually have a gap between the top of the sunglasses and the helmet. And with the semi-frameless design, you actually have a wide field of view, even though you don't have an oversized frame. We're also impressed with the optics of the Volt Plus lens. These are a polarized lens, so everything's really bright. The only downside is that some things like your computer or other smaller items might look a little odd due to the artifacts from a polarized lens. Otherwise, it's really bright. There are no distortion. And even in mixed conditions, it worked out pretty well. Now let's compare the Bolt 2 with other sunglasses on the market. The most direct comparison we have here are the Oakley Radars, really classical uh, Oakley model that's still available today and it's been on the market for nearly a decade now. You can see a very similar ultraviolet lens, so they have quite a similar coloring and very similar design elements. You have that classical sport sunglass frame design with little swoopy edges, a little bottom curve near the top, a nose bridge, and then these little indentations on the lens. The main difference between the Oakley and the Bolt 2 is that the Oakley has a single frame design. It makes it a little more difficult to swap the lenses, but gives it a sleeker appearance than the Bolt. Also note that the Oakley has a concealed frame, so you can see how thin the frame looks here, even though the frame is thicker on the back end. And again, that just gives it a little bit more premium appearance, where the Bolt 2 has a more traditional thicker frame uh, with less styling to it. Otherwise, really similar. Uh, the Bolt is a little bit more aggressive with the little edges here on the side and the nice premium uh, etching on the lens itself that tend to extend the frame around virtually. Now, oversized sunglasses are really the uh, big portion of the market with sunglasses, with cycling sunglasses. Here we have the uh, Smith Mag, and you can see this is with the clear lens. Quite a bit larger, so taller, and you can see even it goes up to the crazy Pock Devour which is massive. So if you really want large field of view, uh, you might want to consider an oversized lens, but these all look a little bit goofy off the bike where the bolt looks great, whether you're driving your car or just going around errands around town. But you definitely do pay the price with the uh, field of view. With the semi-frameless design of the bolt, you do have a nice bottom vision, but you can compare even this versus like the uh, POC AIM, which has a semi-frameless design. You do have a wider lens on POC AIM and other oversized lenses that provide uh, more protection. So if you're looking left or right or down, you'll see the lens instead of seeing through uh, the bottom of the edge. Bolle also offers quite a few other sunglasses. Uh, we have the light shifter here. See the big difference here is that it's similar to the Oakley style with a one lens design and no frame uh, between the top and the nose but it is a larger design, so it extends quite a bit. It's essentially the XL version of this with a one-piece lens. A little more aggressive styling here as well with that thinner frame and venting. But the Bolt 2, I think, really echoes that classic design language 
and is a more versatile whether you're on or off the bike. Now let's go over the scorecard for the Bolt 2.0. We're going to grade on four different categories, design, optics, comfort, and value. In terms of design, we give it an A-, as an iconic sport design that's not oversized like a lot of sunglasses on the market. That means you can actually wear this on the road, in your car, or just around town without looking goofy. Optics, we'd also give it an A. The Volt Plus lenses are a nice polarized lens. They're really crisp and high contrast colors. Comfort would give it an A. They're a lightweight pair of sunglasses and easily adjustable with the temple and nose. And finally, value is also an A. This is a very nice modernized classic. It takes the classic shape of a sunglass but adds the latest Bolle lens technology. Thanks for watching this review and don't forget to like and subscribe. You can see more content from us on our website at thesweetcyclist.com as well as follow us on Instagram at The Sweet Cyclist. This is The Sweet Cyclist reminding you to enjoy the ride.